Hey guys! Thank you so much for clicking on the video and coming on here and watching me shave my face. That's right, it's not clickbait. I'm actually gonna do it. So, uh, for those of you who are new, I am Carrie Kemp, uh, the Carrie Kemp on Instagram. If you haven't already done so, go follow it. And Carrie here. So, make sure you like this video, subscribe. Let me know where you're from if you're new. I love to know all that. For those of you who are returning, I love you, I love all your support, and thank you. A huge, huge thank you. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. So, again, not clickbait today, except I am not going to be using this razor. Let's be real. Uh, that is not the way to shave a face. So, a lot of you are probably sitting there like, why are you shaving your face? Um, I do know a lot of makeup gurus uh, on YouTube. They actually do it. And so I was like, you know what? I've got a lot of hair on my face. Why not just like get rid of it all? Except for these eyebrows because, I mean, they're not going anywhere. They're tattooed on. Um, I'm sure I could get rid of some of them. Oh my god, it's... I need to get them done. I'm doing that like immediately after I do this. So, uh, so yeah. Um, Jaclyn Hill... If you don't know her, you should. She's amazing. She actually originally did this video and um, yeah, it kind of like inspired me to do it. I was like, it doesn't look that hard. It's pretty gross, the amount of hair that comes off of her body, her face. I don't know the rest of her body, um, but her face. And I feel like I can, I could show her up with the amount of hair that's on my face. It's equally as disgusting. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I hate hair, uh, other than this hair and whatever this hair is. Uh, pretty much the rest of it can just, like, be gone. Um, so yeah, that's what, why I was like, you know what? Why not try it? You do you, boo. Shave that face. Um, I've actually heard a lot of people say that it helps the makeup apply better. So I'm going to test it all. Because... You know, that's that's what I do. That's what I do. So I got this um, off of Amazon. I actually got two packs. Uh, so yeah, you just open it up. Yeah. What do you know? The blue one came out. I didn't even like purposely grab the blue one. Um, so these ones I liked because they are travel size. I think that they were like five bucks or something like that. Like it was so cheap on Amazon. Um, I'll actually link them down below. It's not sponsored. This is just me loving the product. Actually, I don't even know if I love it. <laughs> I don't even know if I love it because I've never done this before. I'm actually a little bit nervous. I've been putting this video off for a little while. I bought these at least a month ago. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do the video. I'm going to do the video. And then I'm like, <sighs> because like I don't want it to be like you know like how I get mustache and now I get I'm telling you when you turn 28 if you haven't already turned 28 when you turn 28 ish you start getting like thicker hairs and like mine is all super blonde thank god but um yeah it just it starts growing in and it's a lot more noticeable Especially like after a day of makeup, I feel like they just like stand out and I don't know. I'm just, I'm over them. So I'm, I'm going to just do it. So basically what, what, uh, little Miss Hill said, uh, so I, I want to keep these little pretty little sideburns and she said, oh, I'm so nervous. Ah! Okay. She said just, just, uh, nice and ew. Whoa! Nice and gently. That is disgusting. Jacqueline, I think I got you beat, girl. I think I got you beat. <gasps> oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just like super light. I do have a towel like right here. So it's not just going onto the floor or anything. I was... I was smart when I did this. Okay. And she just like, yeah, went like so. 
Wow. She also said that, ooh, it feels like I can feel the little hairs. I don't know. Like when I like push up, it feels like it didn't go like down to my skin, you know? So I'm just gonna go a little bit, maybe harder? Gotta watch out for these sideburns. No, it still feels like one of those furless cats. Which, I mean, yeah, that's just. So I was going to do with these little chinny chin chin hairs. You know, shaving something around is difficult. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ooh, that actually feels real soft. So how am I going to get these little guys? So it's soft down here, but like once I get up to like where my hash browns, hash browns, carry. Sideburns are, um, I feel just like little hairs. I don't know if you just gotta like play with like the angles. Got some thick ones going on there. Oh. Ooh, that actually that worked pretty good. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I guess the reason she said to use this instead of this is because your hair actually is like more dense, like the roots, see, I don't know, it feels like it grows back thicker, she said. And it does grow back thicker, like think of like your leg hairs and stuff, like if you wax your leg hairs, it doesn't grow back as thick. It's true story, I've actually done it. Um, oh, starting to, I never break out. So this is interesting. That's, that's really interesting. My skin is really dry right now because I got out of the shower and I haven't moisturized yet. She said not to put any product on, I think. Maybe she didn't say that. Maybe she did put product on. I don't know. Nah, I'm just going to continue doing what I do. checking all my angles. It's really hard to shave your chin. It's like a ball. You know? I think you guys can see that. Sorry. Good till about there. Maybe go up. Oh, that actually worked. No, it's not. So maybe like try up and down if you're interested in trying this. I'm not saying to try this at home. Uh, this is at your own risk, your own discretion. Um, I'm just doing it because, well, I want to. And in my opinion, my body, my rules. <laughs>
A face has a lot of crevices. Did you know this? Like, it's so hard. Let's see if I have any on my nose. Oh, actually, I think this is, like, exfoliating a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, definitely some dead skin on there. I actually don't have a lot of hair on my nose. Scott has, like, on the tip of his nose, he grows, like, the longest hairs. He's going to kill me for saying that. But I bug him about it all the time. Like, it's crazy how many long hairs he gets at the tip of his nose. Terry, leave me alone. Why are you going to share that kind of stuff? Because I love you. Okay. Oh, this is... I legit had a full-on beard. I can, ugh, this is so disgusting. It's my personal opinion not to like hair too. Just don't hate on me for not liking hair. It's my thing. Everybody has an opinion. That's my opinion. If you like hair, I'm happy for you. We can agree to disagree. Everybody has their thing. We are uniquely made so that we don't all agree with each other. So let's just be nice about it, okay? No hate going on here. I think it is like exfoliating some of the dead skin off. For sure. I don't know how often like you gotta do this kind of stuff. I'll let you know on Instagram if you wanna follow me there. I usually share this kind of stuff. The results and the um, like si sides and symptoms. I cannot speak English today. Uh, signs and symptoms and all that kind of stuff, like what I'm personally going through with it. I will definitely let you know if I need to shave soon again. I'll let you know how my makeup goes on. I'm gonna wear makeup tomorrow, I think. How do I feel? <laughs> I typically wear makeup like every, depending on like how many times I'm going to the gym and stuff, but I, my forehead has a lot of hair. That's crazy. My forehead also has a lot of wrinkles. I'm okay with it. No Botox yet for this gal. And yes, I think that that's an eventual thing that I'm gonna get. But for right now, I'm just loving the natural skin I'm in. Minus all this hair. And no, this is not me hating myself or hating parts of my body. I still love my body and love my face, whether it's hairy or not, I do. But I have an opportunity to perfect it. Nothing's perfect, but I do what I can. It's like, I love my body, but I go to the gym. You know? It's okay to, to want to change your body and still love the body that you're in, despite wanting to change parts of it. 
right? Like, you have to love the journey. It's all about the journey of wherever you go. And the ultimate goal of life is to live your best, happiest, healthiest life. Whatever that looks like for you. It looks different for every single person. I'm giving you guys all a little pep talk here while I'm doing this. It actually feels kind of good. Like, brushes my... And in it, I think I might actually like do a deep cleanse today. Just if my skin is so exfoliated, just put some natural oils on it. I think it'll be. All right, let's feel this now. Oh my gosh! Like feeling it with the hair like where the hair would be, it actually feels so soft. When you go against it, you feel like, not as bad as a hairless cat. You know those like hairless cats that they have, you know. It's not as bad as that, but like going with it, it's like, it feels so soft. Jaclyn Hill, oh, I've created an addiction. Now I'm just going against the fur. I got a pimple here. So now I'm just going like against the hair that would be there. There's still hair there. Just to try and get it all feeling all good. That feels better. I guarantee this is gonna grow in like a like crazy. My mustache grows in so fast now and it gets so dark, like just on the outsides. So I just got these like little whiskers. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, well, now I'm gonna go and get my eyebrows done, which I do get professionals to thread them. Um, and it's just actually like the hairs that you can see down here, like the ones growing in. Um, but other than that, that, that's it for this video. You guys just watch me shave my face. It's, uh, pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. And, yeah, go follow me on Instagram, the Carrie Camp, T-H-E-K-A-R-I-K-E-M-P, just like this. And, yeah, I, I'm gonna give you kind of updates on whether I like putting makeup on with it, like if it goes on better, if it stays better, all of that kind of stuff. Um, overall, I really like the feel of my face. Uh, it is a little bit, just cause I didn't like moisturize beforehand, I feel like it's a little bit tender right now. Like, just that I scratched it, you know? Um, almost feels like a little bit, like a very light sunburn. Not like super sunburned. But like, just that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. It's a little bit, and it, again, it's because my face is not moisturized. 
I think once my face is moisturized, things are gonna feel a heck of a lot better. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna post the link. These actually work pretty good, these little beauty tools. Um, I'm super impressed so far. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. I will be posting another video on Friday. I don't even know what I'm gonna post yet. So let me know down below what store you would like to see me post from and I will, I might be able to pop into one and do, do you guys like, prefer the in-store videos or the ones that I like order them to my house and I try them on here? Let me know that too, because that is actually helpful information. I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram stories to see that as well. Um, but as for this video, I'm out. I hope you guys have an awesome week. Peace. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>